Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, May 22nd. And this is for all signs. This is daily energy. Now keep in mind that these daily vibes are, you know, the energy is fluid. We're all at different cycles in our life, so you know. It resonates when it resonates. This is what I am picking up on today for Tuesday, May 22nd. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This represents a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Can be anybody, but this often reminds me of the Queen of Pentacles. But this is about um, loving yourself, loving the finer things in life, loving where you're at, loving all the little things, not sweating the small stuff, feeling abundant with who you are, where you're at, the whole nine yards, okay? That's the first card that came out. It's about abundance, okay? Inner and outer, all right? Ooh, happiness. Happiness and abundance. Beautiful. Oh, the lover's card. So there could be some love here. There could be an unexpected choice in love. Maybe you need to make a decision. You might have to choose between two people, two paths. Either way, it's like there's some sort of union, a happy union. Okay, there's a happy union. Because somebody's, they're ready, they've done their work, they feel good, they're, they're open to it. You know, they're not sulking, they're not crying, they're feeling good about who they are. So they've called in this, this love, this happiness. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Remember we just talked about her. It's kind of funny that I mentioned that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini here. We have Leo here. Um, <laughs> this is a very stubborn, hot-headed, uh, possessive, jealous woman. Interesting. And... You know, it feels as though sh there's some sort of releasing here, letting go. Uh, letting go. Maybe she's letting go of something. And this could be you. Anybody could be taking on this energy. Any one of us is taking on this, this suspicious, jealous, possessive energy. Somebody is suspicious... Maybe you're needing to let go of your suspicions and just be happy. Enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Don't sweat the small stuff. Makes sense, doesn't it? Interesting. Oh, the devil. Hmm. You know, it's a time of, of freedom. It's a time of restoration, restoring control to your life. Okay, so it's like somebody is, ha, needs to release their obsessions. Their, suspi their suspicions. Those need to be released. They need to be let go of. When you can let go of those... qualities that's when the control will be restored to your life it's like that's what's happening here somebody is freeing themselves from negative from negativity i mean that's what it looks like mm. wow yeah there's been some manipulation and control here ah so there's let me get make sure that this is zoomed in. Daily vibes for Tuesday, May twenty second. And now remember, I said the timing is fluid. Somebody is trying to bring the balance back. They're trying to restore something. You know, there could have been some sort of. Somebody wanted to control. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody wanted to be in control. They wanted to control a situation. They were being bossy and argumentative. And 
now they have to let that go. They have to release it. They have to release those old ways that they've been holding on to. Interesting. Somebody has to let go of their old possessive ways. Mm -hmm. Because you can't, you're not in control of another person. We're all independent. This is the card of independence. The very first card that came out. Whether you're in a relationship or not, we are still ultimately independent. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a union that could bring happiness after somebody realizes that they are still independent. You know, we're still, we still, we're still ourselves. You're you and I'm me. And we can be abundant with who we are. And still be in this union without trying to control each other. Oh my goodness. So yeah, because somebody's been controlling, trying to control. And it's caused some arguments. It's caused some imbalance. It's caused some disharmony within a relationship. But somebody has come to the conclusion to be happy, we may have to, you know, be independent at times. Because we have independence, happiness, then, then two people. So we go from one to bliss and happiness to two people. So it appears that somebody has had to make a change and look at things from a new perspective. They've needed to find the strength within them to let go of their ego. They need to find the power to master their emotions, to release their old ways, to bring harmony and peace back to the relationship, to restore control. Of them, you know, re restore control in the relationship to bring the happiness and bliss back. So it feels like there's been some sort of imbalance that has forced some sort of change. It's forced a change for the better. Somebody has found it within themselves to master their emotions to release their old ways. So I feel like today is a day of happiness. It is. It's a day of happiness. And it's also a day of independence and union. You know what I'm saying? It's where you enjoy your independence, but you also enjoy the togetherness of another person. Okay? So I feel like there's an unexpected opportunity that has come into your life that has shaken up your independence. And there could have been some possessiveness along the way. And somebody has needed or is needing or whatever to release their grip. Release their grip. Because that's what this is. Both of these cards. They need to release their grip. They need to find their, their own inner power to, to let go. To let go of the need to control. That's what's going on here. The only person we're in control of is ourselves, not another person. So I feel like I feel like today is a day of um, restoring harmony and peace within a relationship that was unharmonious because of possessiveness. Interesting. Let me get some more cards. Somebody has decided that. You know, I'm not going to sweat this. I'm just not going to sweat this. This one fell out, so we're going to take it. Take a moment. Stop. Stop. That's what I'm saying. It says stop. That's what I've been, that's what this is about. Stopping. Now is not the time to rush into the, to the decision that you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. And that is what's happening. Somebody is taking a moment to step back to see what it is that they need to do to bring harmony and peace and happiness back to a relationship, a soulmate relationship by the looks of things. I feel like somebody is finally deciding to look at things from a new perspective. That's what that's what this is about. That's what today is about. Uh, Tuesday, May twenty second. 
There's an opportunity for love here and happiness. If somebody lets go of the need to control. Talk to you later.